So although we're sending email, they're pretty boring at the moment. We don't have a greeting to the user. And it would be pretty annoying if we were to come over to our uh, email auth registered view and have to say hello x every time we uh, wanted to send an email. So what we're going to be doing then is we're going to be doing the same thing as we did with our views before. And we're going to be going to be creating a template for all of our emails. So under email, let's create a new folder and call this template. So we're following the same uh, kind of structure as we did for our normal views without templates and then our partials and stuff like that. And under templates, let's create a new file and let's set this as the default templates. We'll call this default.php. So within this template, we want to check if a user is authenticated. And if a user is authenticated, we want to output a common greeting among all templates. So what we can do here then is we can uh, start to create an if statement. We're not going to put any markup in here because we're not going to be sending pretty emails, uh, but you can go ahead and add that in. So we're going to say if auth, as we've seen in all of our views, remember we're sharing that data. Otherwise, we want to do something else. So we're going to end the if there. So if the user is authenticated, we can output hello auth.user. Uh, sorry, auth dot get full name or username. We already know that that model uh, has that method in it. And we can do a little comma there. Otherwise, we're just going to say hello there because the user won't be authenticated. And then what we can do is we can add a content block, which will allow us to define the content that we're going to send within the email. So if the user is authenticated, we say hello and then the user's name. So uh, Alex Garrett or Billy Garrett or whatever, or otherwise their username, so just Alex. And then otherwise we just do a common greeting. And then we have our content block. So inside of our registered email, we can now extend from this template. So we extend email templates default.php. We have a content block. We end that block and we say you have registered. So now that we've got our common template and we've extended that, we can go ahead and see how this works again. So let's log ourselves out. Oh, we're already logged out. Let's register and we'll get rid of this record in here. We'll hit register. We send that email. We see the email in here when it comes up. There we go. And you can see there, hello there, you have registered. So if the user is authenticated, um, we will see hello whoever. So let's go ahead and sign in and see how this changes. We'll send an email in a place where we shouldn't just to check that this is being uh, this is being rendered out properly. So I'm going to sign in with my user that I just created. And I've just noticed that what we've done is we've made a slight mistake in login.php in the root. Uh, what I'm going to do is change that now. So if you head over to your login route, uh, notice here what we did earlier to try and be efficient is uh, redirect the user back to login regardless of whether they were logged in properly or not. What we actually want to do is get rid of that and paste it into here. So redirect the user to login if they couldn't be signed in. And if they could be signed in, redirect the user to home. So we can just test out that this has been fixed under resources, cookies for localhost, get rid of this can log back in. If we log in with something that doesn't exist, could not log you in. If we log in with an account that does exist, we're sent back to the home page. So anyway, that aside, we've fixed that up very quickly. But what we do need to do now is test that these emails work properly when we're signed in. So let's uh, close this off and let's steal the code from the register route where we uh, authenticate the user and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the uh, the code for this inside of our 
home.php file. We'll also get rid of this uh, root here that we created to test out flashing. So we will paste that code in there to send an email. Um, what we'll do is we'll quickly just say user equals app auth. We know that we're signed in, so we're testing this. We're grabbing the auth uh, object, which is a user. We are passing that through to our view. We're using that. We're sending it to that user's email. So this should now, when I hit home, send an email to here saying you have registered, which is obviously wrong. And you can see here it says, hello, Alex. So we no now know that that is working. So we've tested that email template with a signed in user and a non signed in user. So let's just get rid of this because we don't need that in there. It was only for testing. So we now have email set up that was a bit long winded, but we now know that we have the ability to send email really easily like this, create templates for our emails. So we can create any number of these kinds of templates, just passing the content we want to send. It will greet the user appropriately and it will send uh, the data like this. And we can also send data through to these as well. So everything is nice and clean.